uh, Bangalore Realtors Association India, BRAI for short, it's formed over about 20 years ago. Uh, the main idea was to get a very non-professional group of people, a very scattered and haphazard group of people, into an association that we can function better with more professionalism. And above all, we have a code of conduct and ethics which we have to follow. Now, this was important because this particular group of people uh, was seen as not having much by way of ethics. Well, let's admit that's the fact. If you said you're a real estate agent, they say, oh, you're to, you know, he's come for his own business. So uh, this is a platform which brings us all together under one set of rules, one set of establishment, uh, which helps in the customer ultimately getting a better service from us, more transparency, certainly more trust and honesty in the way we conduct our business, and also with professionalism, certainly more knowledge of the overall business. We also have another organization called FIAPSI, that's the French um, uh, short form, which is an international real estate organization, which is where I think some of you may have a bit of a connect on a professional scale. As far as Brian is concerned, it might be on a more personal scale, because uh, FIAPSI has four councils or four verticals. One of them is a real estate brokerage fraternity. The other is a developer fraternity. Now, the developers are certainly customers for your kind of product. Then we have what we call the uh, professionals, the experts, who are mainly the lawyers, the architects, and people who are indirectly, in a way, connected to the real estate fraternity. And then we have the managers. Those are the property managers and others. So within these last two, we have certainly space for people who supply to the real estate industry, as you all do in terms of solar. But we also have, for example, let's take uh, elevator manufacturers or tile manufacturers. Uh, they are all in one way or another connected with the real estate fraternity and there is a certain uh, synergy which can be brought about. So FIAPSI is an organization which I think might benefit membership uh, for you all. Uh, we were just discussing with my colleague uh, Nasir, our secretary, joint secretary, that we will be able to send some information to your association secretariat about BRAI and about FIAPSI mainly, which might evoke some interest in some of you to, to join because you will have certainly a platform where you can uh, you know, meet with people who are your customers. On a slightly lesser scale, because I was talking outside and we were told that this is more concerning MS, MSC, um, mid-sector and mid-size uh, manufacturers, but in terms of BRAI, we are, con we are dealing with a lot of A, developers and B, house owners. So the individual house owners who are also part of your business, I don't know directly because I'm not so familiar with, with what you all do, which may be on a larger scale, but there is a large business uh, avenue and a large market for pushing solar power onto home builders. Anywhere where sites are built, and people have to put up their own homes. I think it is the need of the hour globally uh, uh, to promote solar power. Uh, it, is, it is saving um, the economy, saving the nation, saving the world totally of a lot of uh, environment issues. And not only that, in a country like India, where sun is beneficial to us most of the year, I think this is something which has to be promoted a lot. Now, in terms of somebody mentioned about, um, I think Mr. Hari Prasad or somebody, he mentioned about not being able to get contact with that market very easily because it's a smaller fragmented market. And that is where maybe we can come in as Brai people that, you know, because we have contact with those people. So there is, there is a lot of potential uh, for the smaller sector of users of solar power rooftops, things like that. In my own building, it's not a very large building, the, the plot size is about 8,000 odd square feet. We have put up a roof on the terrace, a complete roof covering maybe about 6,000 square feet. And this was many years ago. I really wish we had uh, more vision at that time and had put up maybe solar panels on the whole roof. 6,000 odd square feet, it could generate so much power for our own consumption. And then as somebody said, maybe we could you know, sell it uh, later. So I think there is, there is a, all I'm trying to do is um, say that you can think of the smaller scale on a home builder scale of supplying solar energy, basically. Uh, 
I, th I think that should cover it. And I, I would like to get in touch with the secretary of your association here, whoever, to you know push this forward. Maybe something will work out of it for some people, for some it won't. Uh, those who are on the very large scale, you go to industry. But uh, developers are very much your business. If you can promote more use of solar power to developers. Somebody said about DG sets being replaced by storage, uh, generation and storage. And that is a very, very big potential because they all install DG sets. And instead of DG sets, if you can replace it with solar power and storage, I'm not too sure technically what it is, but I can certainly get the concept. I think that's a big potential. And there are so many developers in Bangalore who are doing very, very large commercial establishments. Each floor plate is 50,000 and more square feet, where I think there's a huge potential for solar and storage to come in and replace DG sets. So uh, I, will, I will be doing that. I'll get in touch. And then if somebody's interested, maybe we can have feedback. And we'll certainly like to take it forward. Thank you very much for this platform. I appreciate it. Thank you.